Hi everyone and welcome back to Interview Chronicles season 3. Today we are in the 35th episode of the series this year and we have Kushi here with us today who has been recently placed at Dell as a part of her campus placements at VIT. She is here to share her interview experience with us. Now, coming to the eligibility criteria, there was nothing specific declared by Dell. Uh, you just had to apply on the Neopad portal and you got the shortlist uh, on an email later on. So that's all. There was no specific eligibility criteria declared. Now let's go ahead talk to Kushi and understand her experience. Firstly, welcome to my channel and congratulations on your placement. Thank you. So, would you like to introduce yourself first? Yeah. So, hello everyone. My name is Kushi Mattu and I'm currently doing my B.Tech in Computer Science and Engineering from Bellur Institute of Technology. And uh, I live in Mumbai and I've worked with several machine learning, deep learning. and web development projects and i did my summer internship at fidelity investments okay that's great thank you so much um you cannot tell us about the placement process like how many rounds were there and what happened so there were basically four rounds first we had to apply on new portal website hmm. and then uh, some students around i think 400 students were shortlisted for the online test so the online test did not have any coding questions there were only mcq questions there were around 10 aptitude logical questions and around 50 cs fundamental questions based on data structures oops networks all the fundamentals and then uh, the next was uh, there were three interview rounds the first interview round was a technical interview round so she started with basic questions like what are data structures what are their applications then she asked me a multi threading coding question it was something like there are two threads and then they have to print each other's data and then she asked me all uh, fundamental questions from network and communication like what is vpn and then she asked me a lot of os questions what is banker's algorithm what is deadlock how do we get rid of deadlock what are cpu scheduling algorithms then um, she asked me in dbms what is normalization uh, what is normalization why do we need normalization mm-hmm. then she asked me about my internships what i did and um, she saw my resume and she saw that i had done a blockchain course so so she also asked me a blockchain question like what is digital signature and how do we maintain security and integrity mm-hmm. then um, the next round was managerial round so he saw my resume first and he asked me questions about all the projects that i listed and then he saw that i had done a lot of ml projects so he asked me certain ml uh, questions and then he asked me situation based questions like if you're not aware, uh, aware of any topic and we give you a project how long will it take for you to get familiar with the project and actually work on a project with that topic so there were some situation based questions like um you can you settle in a new city and all that just situation based questions hmm. uh, then next was hr round so in hr round he asked me general questions like about my family and um, what are my strengths what are my weaknesses where do i see myself in 5 years and um, what do i like about vit what i don't like about it why i joined vit hmm. yeah that's all okay okay that's great after that you got the list do you remember how many people were selected finally around 17 students were selected finally okay okay that's great thank you so much and congratulations again thank and you. do you have any suggestions for your juniors or anything that you want to share that you learned from your experience so the first would be be careful with what you put in your resume because in all the interview rounds they are going to see your resume and ask you questions so if you have put something and you are not familiar with it be it a project skill or any course so that might set a bad impression in front of them and second would be dsa is important but don't undermine the fundamental courses like os networks oops and dbms because they are going to be a core part of your interview process hmm. okay okay that's great thank you so much for your suggestions and for all the experience that you shared i'm sure it's going to help many people and yeah thank you for doing this thank you say thank you for watching all my videos and giving me so much support so i hope uh, these videos are really helpful if you have any suggestions or any comments please do comment or reach out to me on linkedin or instagram or wherever you want okay and let me know i'll try to implement any anything that you suggest apart from that i would surely suggest that you share my videos and subscribe to my channel while you're watching and stay tuned because i'm going to upload so many more interview experiences in the coming days so because it's still the placement season for the next couple of months at least so for the next couple of months you'll be getting continuous videos so please do subscribe and stay tuned and thank you all for watching